What's up, guys? It's uh, me, Panda Pong. Um, I look super stupid in hats, but whatever. You can see my glowing forehead. Um, according to my viewers' suggestions, I'm going to be reviewing three different rubbers. We're going to be talking about Dignix 09C. Right there. Uh, H3 Hurricane Neo Provincial. It's like boosted, but the boost was like two months ago. So I don't know if it still even works, but whatever. Um, and then the last one is Yasaka Roxa Z. So yeah, Dignix 09C, Hurricane H3 Neo, Yasaka Roxa Z. So all of these have a very similar property to where they have a tacky top sheet. Um, but as we all know, I'm sure, Hurricane has like this tire sponge. Like it, it does not have any pop from the sponge at all. It's pretty much just like super hard sheet of like tire rubber um, versus the Dignix has the, the butterfly branded spring sponge technology where the ball comes in and it springs back out it's like a trampoline um and that was popularized in the uh tenergy series but they still have a similar thing called spring sponge x for their dignix series and then we have yasaka roxa z who uses like a tensor yasaka tensor sponge that is not similar to the spring sponge exactly but it is have like some speed to it and it's gonna be faster than Hurricane, for sure, because Hurricane has like that really dead sponge, unless you boost it, um, in which case it's a little bit less dead. What's in my bag of tricks, you ask? Well, mask, some balls, and probably what you came here for, the paddle. Uh, so this one, is an Interforce ZLC, and here you can see it has a pretty old sheet of Dignix 09C on it, and then the Yasaka Roxa Z. And then I'm also using, I don't have two of these, so I used this. Um, this is a Timo Bull ZLF, which is pretty similar, honestly, to the Interforce ZLC. Uh, I've played with both, um, and they, they don't feel like crazy different, maybe like 80% the same. This is the Hurricane on the T-Mobile ZLF. I have a guest joining me today. His name is Oliver. He loops really, really hard. My friends say that when I loop, I loop like, uh, like I'm playing baseball. But if I play baseball, then I think Oliver is playing like hammer throw or like shot put or something or javelin. Anyway, I don't want to waste your time. So let's get right into it. Oh, I keep forgetting. You guys need to subscribe and like and share. Um, please do. All right, let's go. Oh, you need, you need, the panda, panda yeah. needs to be on panda. Are you the panda? Is that the idea? No. <laughs> Not who's, the, who's the panda? The panda is, uh, that's, 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 that's the inspiration. Oh, that's okay. I thought it's what that you look like. I use the Dignix 09C on my main racket, the Lin Yun Ru Super ZLC. Go see my other review if you want to see that. But I really like the 09C and it feels very comfortable and familiar. I feel that the 09C has a good top sheet that helps generate a lot of spin. And then the sponge is springy if you apply enough power. If you engage the sponge, you can get a lot out of it, which is different from the Tenergy because in Tenergy, the sponge engages automatically, but with 09C, you have to be deliberate to apply the pressure. 09C really rewards you when you apply a lot of strength into the ball, but if you're just gonna touch the ball, you shouldn't use it. What is that rubber? This is a Roxa Z, but they tried to imitate Dignix 09C, uh -huh. this is what they came up with. Yeah. 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 Right away with the Roxa Z, you can tell that the ball does not travel with as much power versus with the 09C. I don't know, 
it feels pretty steady. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't. It feels like when you engage the sponge with the Roxa Z, it doesn't give you out as much as the O9C. It's kind of more of a dull impact, and the ball feels very secure, but not that dangerous. Ah, nice. Hurricane! Like three different rubbers. Hurricane! Okay. <laughs> Three different rubbers in one video, that's just like overwhelming. That's, a, that's the deluxe treatment. The deluxe and the, the master package. And oh then, yeah, that's... that's right. <laughs> I think out of all of these three rubbers, Hurricane is the slowest, but it's the easiest to control because it holds the ball for a long time and offers a lot of spin. You gotta be worried, Brian, when someone starts Pei Wei Pong. Pei Wei Pong? <laughs> oh! P.F. <laughs> Chang Pong? <laughs> Yeah. That's, oh, that's the. I'll change it to chili. <laughs> Once again, I feel like Roxa Z has a very good security, but it doesn't launch the ball out with crazy power. I sort of underspin and then I did it. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll just keep doing this. Okay. Okay. Roxa Z. I have to clarify. Oh my god. <laughs> I went straight down. Personally, I think Roxa Z is better for the backhand because it holds the ball and secures it onto the table, but it doesn't have the explosiveness that I want from my forehand rubber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too much magic. English. Absolutely. Oh, that's good, Brian. That's good. This is totally 09C holds and launches the ball much better because of that trampoline effect. In blocking, I feel like with Roxa Z, it's easy to suck off the energy that the opponent is putting into you, but you can't apply a lot of pressure back with the rubber because when it goes out, the sponge is not going to give it any kick. With 09C, I feel like with blocking, you can actually apply a lot of pressure. Here you'll see, even on backhand block, that when I block it, the ball goes back slower. It's easier to place the ball on your blocks because the ball will go back slowly and you just have to get the angle right. But you can't apply as much pressure, so you won't win through speed alone.
thing. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Table tennis daily, Dan has. Oh my there. god, yeah. No wonder his stroke looks different every time. He's using a different rubber in every video. Right. Oh no. Here you can see with O9C that when I switch to it for backhand block, I can apply a lot more pressure on Graydon when he's looping. For blocking, I like to use the sponge to apply pressure, but that's really difficult with Hurricane because the sponge is like a rock, so I don't recommend it. Okay, tender shot. Wow, that's So here we have Oliver who has a forehand loop from another planet and he's going to show us the differences between all these rubbers. Okay, we're using Hurricane right now. So you can see that the ball is still pretty powerful, but let's see how it compares to the others. With the Roxa Z, you can see that the ball is definitely going faster than with the Hurricane. With the O9C, I feel like his loop has a lot of spin and a lot of speed. All right, everyone. So I'm gonna do a quick conclusion and get you out of here. Um, oh, I forgot something important. Okay. Um, so I think that the Dignix O9C is my favorite rubber. I, I'm using it currently on my Linyan Ru Super ZLC. Oliver also uses it. So if you want to hit a forehand like him, you know, you gotta spend the ninety-three dollars. Um, but I think that the Dignix O9C has really good spin and it has really good power if you put your weight behind the ball. But uh, Hurricane, on the other hand, has really good spin. And if you have super good technique, uh, super strong body like the Chinese national team, you can get the power out of it. But for normal human beings, it's really difficult to get power out of the Hurricane 3. Um, so it's a more spin oriented rubber. But the Roxas Z is somewhere in between both of those. So yeah, it has the tensor sponge, but that's not as springy as the Spring Sponge X found in Dignix. And it has a spinny top sheet like Hurricane, but unfortunately it's like a jack of all trades, but master of none kind of situation. I feel like I'm butchering that analogy, but it, it doesn't have the control and spin of Hurricane, but it doesn't have the power of um, the Dignix either. So in my opinion, it's it's a stable rubber. You can put spin, um, it grips the ball and holds the ball well, but it doesn't hold the ball as well as Hurricane, nor does it launch the ball out as quickly as Dignix. So mm, if you're on a budget, it's good because it's like 40, 50 bucks, um, which is like half the price of Dignix, but it's just not the same. 
unfortunately. I'm not paid to do any of these videos, so I'm not sponsored, so I can just say whatever I want. So, sorry, Yasaka, you failed. <laughs> um, all right, so that concludes my review today. I'll see y'all next time.